So guess who's got dinner duty tonight? <laughs> this guy. So, um, actually, you know, I really don't mind too. I love doing dinner. Um, it's not like a chore at all. It's like, it's like fun. It's like relaxing. And I really enjoy like making a nice meal that the family can sit down to rather than, you know, something box, throw it in the microwave, throw it in the oven. Um, there's no football or anything tonight. You know, that we got to run around, no sports, no shopping, no nothing. So today is a perfect day to cook a nice meal. My choice of the day was a little roast chicken. I don't know how you guys do dinner. Um, sometimes, you know, I mean, as much as we love cooking together, it's nice to have a little break sometimes. So sometimes Nemo will take a turn, I'll take a turn. We'll both, you know, have our own things that we like to cook. And today is my day. There you go guys, set it and forget it. I love that machine right there, love it. It is time for the most wonderful part of the day. It's playtime with Austin. You wanna show me what you got going on today, bud? What do you got? Oh, you made a wonderful tunnel? He just got this new track yesterday. There's these little pieces that clip in here and they go all over, but the only thing he's really interested in the whole thing is the like the little tunnels and bridges that this thing makes. He has so much fun with this. Hey Austin, who built this track, bud? Did you build it? Yeah, you did so good. Who is that in there? Is that a giant? Austin. A baby cum. Hey, who is that? Is that Austin? No, daddy. There he is. Uh -huh. Hi, Austin. What are you doing under there? Is she? Here, come on through. Get your head through. Come on, we'll pull you out. Oh, you don't quite fit. Oh, no. I fit it. <laughs> Hey, so you want to tell us about school today? How was school? Yep. It was good? Uh-huh. Did you listen to your teacher? Uh, yeah. Did you do all your schoolwork? Uh-huh. Did you do math? Yep. Did you do math? Why a train track. Oh, you played with a train track, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Did you do algebra? No, a park. Oh, you just played at the park. Oh, that's right. You're, uh, o you're only in preschool. Sai. So something I haven't told you guys yet is um, a couple weeks ago I started the keto diet and if you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, K-E-T-O, short for ketosis. Um, it's basically one of those low carb, um, high fat, uh, high protein diets where you um, you get your body, you know, your metabolism going and you take away all the sugar so it has nothing left to burn but fat. So um, that's something I've been doing lately the last couple weeks. I've Started to do this diet, and this, the other thing I'm going to do um, that I've been working on today is clean up the garage. I've been trying to clean out the garage, get it all set up, um, and get like some kind of gym where I can exercise going. Uh, I'll show you guys a little bit what I've been up to. So the, our garage was completely jam packed full of stuff, and it still has a lot of you know a lot of like stuff in it. I have like enormous amounts of tools and all kinds of stuff that I kind of need to condense and get rid of and do stuff with. What I want to do is just kind of set up something in this garage here that I can use. Uh, what I've been doing today is uh, putting insulation up all behind here. I don't have any sheetrock here, but I do. I had a bunch of plywood, so I took um, I took the plywood I do have and just kind of put it over to help insulate and stuff. And you know, maybe I'll hang a mirror or something up there later. I got a, a lot of stuff to clear out still, so you know that's pretty much what I would like to accomplish today.
All right, guys, there you go. There's the finished product. I got a little room to myself finally. And the nice thing about that treadmill, it's one of those ones that folds up out of the way so you can get even more room. Excellent. I'm excited. <clears throat> so when I weighed myself two weeks ago when I first started, I was a massive 323. Like I said, my goal is to get down about 100 pounds. I'd be happy around 220, 225-ish. It's probably a good weight for me, I'd say. Um, I'm going to weigh myself today. I haven't weighed myself for a while, so I'm going to see where I'm at now. All right, that's where it's at before. 323, which is the craziest. This is the heaviest I've ever been. All right, so let's see here. All right, I say that's where about where I'm at, and that brings me to about 308. One really important thing that I found when you're dieting that has always really bugged me is um, the scale. Like, you know, digital scales do not work for me because I can hop on one and say I'm, you know, 250 pounds. I can hop on it five minutes later, and it might say 242 pounds or 245 pounds. You know, it's. I don't find them very accurate and it's very frustrating because when you're trying to lose weight, the worst thing is, you know, like, I mean, weighing yourself too much is one bad thing, but weighing yourself and finding that you like gone up a few pounds, you know, after a day or two is just, it's so frustrating. That's why I got um, this scale right here. I actually, I got it on Craigslist from a school that was uh, upgrading their scales. It's like an actual doctor scale. This is the only one I trust because any single digital scale I get on, it just it varies you know like i won't eat anything i won't drink anything won't do anything but all of a sudden like you know 10 minutes later i seem to be like five pounds off and that's so frustrating when you're trying to lose weight so uh, according to the scale i lost about 15 pounds so far and if i can just keep going on that track right there i think you know i'll be happy for a while hi guys so today we're having a big huge dinner i don't even know why we just felt like cooking a big meal so as um you probably saw Chris is cooking roasting chicken and then I thought I would make some rice and I'm gonna make some gravy to go on top of the rice and I'm gonna make green beans so it's gonna be a lot of food usually we make this kind of food in special events happening or something special things going on but um, we haven't made it for a really long time I guess there hasn't been special thing happening um, but, well, we've been really busy, so I don't think we had time ever to stay home and like cook a big meal. But uh, we did today, and uh, so I'm going to go cook my gravy now. Green beans are almost done. Rice is done. And chicken is done. Yay! And gravy. Looks like um, pancakes, but... <laughs> this is... <laughs> I bought a couple of years ago. I haven't used it at all, but... <laughs> Look at Austin, what do you think? <laughs> what is the elephant doing? He's Eat puking. Ew! <laughs> no, don't do that. You know what we need? We need one where you hold the trunk and it pours out of his butt. Then, the, then Austin will like that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is really for cream, but it works yeah, yeah. for gravy too. Yeah. Okay, okay, Chris. Let's hey, have okay. some delicious All right, chicken. Let's, let's dig in. I'm starving. Me too. Uh, what do you want on your food? What else do you want? A free piece. <laughs> <laughs> please. Please what? Puke. Puke. You want <laughs> elephant puke? I was just kidding. It's gravy. Can you say gravy? <laughs> okay, gravy. <laughs> It's gravy, oh. right? Gravy. He, he knows. Hey, you Dad. You're welcome, bud. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Okay, you're welcome, baby. So I wanted to show you guys I got something. And uh, first, before I show you, I wanted to show you another thing. I did my nails. What do you guys think? I feel like I... Um, did better job on this hand than this hand because it's hard to do with your left hand. So, um, I love it. I have deep red and then I have dark, um, very, very light. 
almost like a neutral color painted and with the line and gems on them and this is just like a sparkly purplish and same here so I am loving this ever since I went back to work um, I just want to do my nails I was not so into it but now I am I um, I want to do more um, videos on nails and if you guys are interested in any type of like tutorials or, or something um, on how to do nails or design or anything just um, uh, leave a comment below. I will be doing some like Halloween ones and like Thanksgiving ones on the video uh, for you guys and um, just for fun really. I just want to do a, a nail videos uh, among with our vlog. In our vlog I want to do it. But okay so enough of that and uh, I Alta was having a really big great sale so I had to get it and so I got this box. I will show you guys what's in here. So this box is called Be Charming. This is what the box looks like, okay? This um, brush is here. And then um, this side is highlighter and blush. And this side is... Um, eyeshadows but I will show you a little bit more but I wanted to show you what it looks like in the box first so okay this this is all uh, eyebrows and eyeliners they had a different um, sale too like a pink box it, they were the same price but um, I chose this one because I like the fact that um, I like to how they come in small little sections, small little palettes, especially for eyeshadows and blushes. Because, as you guys might know me, I um, like to do my makeup sometimes on the run. Because if I'm running um, late for work, I like to bring it with me. So. Uh, the other uh, pink box, everything it was big and everything had to be together, so I just was not into it. Uh, even though it felt like the other box had a lot more, but I feel like they're all like look like a lot, but I feel like they're all the same, really. This is how they come out, okay? So, and another neat thing about this box is so I emptied this box emptied this box and but on the sides there's some too so you pull the side and look how cool is that and in this box more stuff on the other side there's um, another compartment and this is all eyeliner Neat. I was really excited to get this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these makeup, but it's a lot. It's a lot of makeup. Um, I'm not like all about the brushes because these brushes look kind of like cheesy, but um, I like the set. Um, I like these two the be the most and uh, lip glosses. I haven't tried it on, uh, but I do wanna uh, do a tutorial on that. Um, so I'll be doing that soon. And um, so yeah, basically this is it. I hope you guys liked my unboxing Ulta Be Charming uh, makeup box. It was super cheap <laughs> and it was just a lot of fun. I just can't wait to play around with it. So uh, you guys will see me wearing um, these makeup. I am so excited about it and uh, I'm going to leave you with this. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching our videos and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell 
to notify you whenever we have new videos. So, namaste guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.